All right, what is up you guys? My name is Giovanni and welcome back to another video. Today it's gonna to be a little bit different. I actually have something that was mailed to me I want to take a look at. It's a product that I think a lot of you guys will uh, find useful and I think it's gonna be something that I kind of use a lot more. What I have here is a OBD2 diagnostic scan pool. It is the eDiag YA101 and this was sent to me by eDiag themselves. And just to get it out of the way, they did send it to me for free but I'm not required to leave a great review or anything. I won't accept anything if I have to leave a biased review. Uh, just so you guys know that, you know, just so we get that out of the way. But they did send me one, they wanted me to check it out. And so I'm happy to do that for them. This is going to be like your lowest tier, cheapest tool on Amazon. It is pretty much almost identically the same price as the Launch CR319. But basically it's just a real simple dirt cheap OBD scan tool. But you know, one of these is always handy to have. If you're like me and you look at a lot of used cars, just take one of these with you, plug it in and it'll show you if there's any hidden engine codes. Unfortunately, a lot of times people are kind of sketchy and they'll hide those engine codes. They'll get rid of them right before you go see them. A cheap scan tool like this will kind of unearth any of those issues. It's a must have tool if you're gonna work on any cars past 1998 or so. Honestly, it just makes life easy. It pinpoints you exactly what could be wrong with your engine. You can start troubleshooting from there. It'll give you a P code or a character code, and you can just look that up on the internet. I'm guaranteeing you someone has had that issue before, and uh, you'll start getting information that way. But anyway, enough of that, guys. Let's go ahead and open this thing up, and we'll test it out. I got a couple vehicles outside with some check engine lights on, and uh, we'll see if it could read those. Again, very simple, cheap packaging. Really nothing to it. Cardboard box. It looks like it, there is a booklet in here. Really not much to it at all. This is the actual unit itself. It's a nice looking unit. I mean, it's light, it feels somewhat cheap, but it's not like, I've seen like the Walmart ones and stuff that are actually I think more expensive than this and those ones feel like dirt cheap. This one, it feels like a calculator in your hand basically. Simple, there's not much to these things. I mean, this thing's got four buttons on it. But the real test is gonna come when we actually plug it into a vehicle. The only other thing it comes with is a little booklet. Let's see how well we can read this or if it's just been straight translated. Yeah, I mean, it's three pages long. There's nothing in here that's of use. So yeah, we'll go ahead and take this guy outside. I have a Jeep Liberty outside. I also have my Chevy Avalanche, which I know which codes it's gonna have. I'm curious to see if it's gonna give me those codes. But this Jeep Liberty, I have no idea what the codes could be for. I feel like there's a slight misfire at idle. So let's see if we can actually find that. All right guys, so we are in a 2007 Jeep Liberty. I believe it's the 3.7 liter motor. I'm just gonna start it for you guys so you can see that the check engine light is indeed on. All right, so as you can see right there, that is the check engine light. No other codes, I don't think. I'm just gonna plug this thing in while the car is on and we'll see if it shows us anything. All right, so I got this plugged in on the OBD2 port underneath the dash. I just noticed this thing turns on extremely fast. I'm just gonna show you guys that again. I'm gonna unplug it, off, plug it back in, on, and pretty much ready. There you go, ready. Very simple diagnostic DTC lookup, a voltage test, and uh, options and about. So we're gonna go to diagnostic. Okay, so we can see that there is one DTC count the mill status is on, so the check engine light is on. Monitor is okay. Let's see, it tells us what ignition type. That's really about all the information it gives us. Let's see what the DTC is. I'm clicking okay on the DTC itself and it's not doing anything. Let's see, mill status. Hmm. Okay, well, that's uh, Tells us that the light's on and we have a DTC, but we uh, can't see what the DTC is so far. I'm gonna go back. Oh, there we go. So if you go back one, I could say read codes. Read codes, store codes. Ah, and exactly what I thought. It says cylinder three misfire detected. And uh, that's pretty much exactly what I feel when I uh, drive this engine. 
it's mostly idle like right now there's a slight hesitation kind of a shake cool interesting and the code itself was a p0303 cool that's uh good to know let's see if there's any pending codes pending shows the same code p0303 permanent codes and it says the selected mode is not supported so pretty much that's about all let's see if live data works live data should show me a few things it really depends on the make of the car but it should show you ignition timing your rpm stuff like that yeah so it says my fuel system right now is in closed loop load percentage i'm guessing that's the engine load it says 39 percent if i rev yeah we went up to like 95 there engine coolant temp 91 degrees it actually does have a lot of information here a short term wow this is i'm actually kind of impressed uh, short term fuel trims long term fuel trims if you guys don't know what those are don't worry about them it's mostly injector data fueling data the map sensor tells us how many kpa rpm shows us our speed sensor there's quite a bit of information here i'm sorry for the uh kind of crappy view for you guys it's giving me anything i would say a low to mid-range scan tool should give you because remember all cars with obd2 have to have the same basically sensors and inputs and all that stuff so it's just a matter of reading that input that the car is already producing i mean overall any good scan tool should be able to give you guys these things. Again, this thing is sub $30. I think it's in the low 20s on Amazon, maybe $23. So that is not a bad deal. All right, and uh, now we are in my uh, 2007 Chevy Avalanche. This thing has had some custom mods to it. So there are definitely some check engine lights on. And I kind of know what those are related to. So let's see what this thing tells us. All right, and again, I don't know if you guys can see, but my check engine light is on. Our scan tool booted up right away. All right, we're gonna go again to diagnostic. It's gonna do its little scan. That was pretty fast, it says check engine light on. Surprisingly, only one DTC. So we go back one again. It says there are two different modules on this truck. One of them says ECM, PCM. The other one says module dollar sign 07 EA. That might be a body module that I can't decipher the actual code for. Select the ECM, PCM. We're gonna read codes, stored codes. It's a uh, engine oil pressure sensor switch low. That's a faulty oil pressure sensor switch that I have. That's the only engine code I have on here. Pending codes, same thing. Permanent codes. No permanent codes stored. So if you have like a pending code like I do, you can erase it. However, next time I start the truck, it will come back. So that's not gonna be a permanent solution for you guys if you are thinking about that. Let's go ahead and go into the other module. We're gonna read codes, stored codes, no codes. I don't think it can actually figure out what this module is, judging on what it named it. I can't see anything from there. Let's check live data. It's just showing it as like a generic module. It says no DTCs. Mill status is off on this module, and then it shows the voltage going to that module. Not a lot of useful information there, but it sees that module. All right, so I'll uh, wrap this up and meet you guys back in the garage. All right, so overall, what do I think about the E-Diag YA101? It's a cheap scan tool. It's gonna do whatever a cheap scan tool will do. Well, I can tell you this, it's gonna be cheaper than any of the ones you could pick up at like Harbor Freight or even Walmart, I believe. And for you guys, I have a 10% off discount code on Amazon, which I believe makes this one of the cheapest scan tools on Amazon, cheaper than the cheapest launch scan tool. Go ahead and grab yourself one of these. I mean, you can't go wrong for like just around 20 bucks. It's a cheap scan tool. It's not gonna be able to bleed your ABS cylinders or anything like that, but it'll read engine codes and having one of these when you go look at a used car is going to be invaluable. You can definitely prevent yourself from buying a mistake or it'll help you diagnose your car at home. So that's pretty much all I had for you guys today. It has been an interesting time for sure. I know you guys have all felt the effects of what's going on in the world one way or another. I'm gonna definitely be producing a lot more content soon. If you guys are new here, you can check me out on Facebook, facebook.com slash Giovanni Dante Griego. Hit me up on Instagram, ask me any questions, at Giovanni Dante. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We do a, a lot of automotive content here. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you later.